Hello guys, K here, and today I'm doing a Minecraft video. Now I was building an anti griefable room, and uh, yeah, and then I came across something really bizarre, and it was basically these pistons would do a random movement and then return to original position. So to basically explain that, if I put one, two, and three. They will always return to that position, and then they'll have a pause, or they'll be caused again quicker by a chunk update. For example, when they stop again, then I can start it early or prematurely with a chunk update, which is really weird. And it's not much wiring anyway. I guess this could be used on challenge maps or something, but it's just really weird the way it works, because then the torches burn out again. And this can go forever, but you have to add on an extra row, for example, look. Right. So I didn't I'm not sure if I caused it again by a chunk update, but yeah. For example, if we do this, and then I do this. Right. Put that there. They will rigid they will return to original position after a while. And then I'll start again, but then again, it's unlimited. So I don't know why this does this, but it's really cool, I guess, depending on what you're using it for. Because let's just, because it is, it's, I think it's random anyway. For example, let's just say I am walking across this path. Right. And I have to somehow get across, and I don't know what can be up there. Maybe you can have floating lava or something. Something which is weird and you can't go up a block I don't know I'm not sure if you can slow this down but it's, it somehow pushes you off maybe you can put lava on the sides because you try well actually no wait, you can walk in it but it's just a bit weird and it it's sometimes pushes you off because it's pushing me off now um, one sec let me just quickly go to bed <sighs> fail I honestly don't know why it does that but I just thought I'd share it with you guys maybe someone will find a proper use for it. I don't think I've seen this anywhere before on YouTube because I was experimenting and then this happened. So, yeah, look, I can walk across it n now. But, yeah. It is just really weird. So, once again, let's just say you want it to be activated by um, a chunk update. Get rid of those lot. You just put one there. And now, I haven't tried it with two, but maybe I should try it now. Hmm. That should be there. Is this one only activated by a chunk update or will it do itself? Okay, it looks like this one's only up, uh, activated by a chunk update. So if you had a piston down below, like pushing something there. Actually, no, wait, never mind. This one just takes much longer to activate. So, but you could like make it via a chunk update if I was to do it as you know it do it there and then do that there if I was to let's just say walk this has to be pointing towards the piston doesn't it right oh, I just realized it's John's birthday today isn't it he tweeted that yesterday I need to go to say it to him on his page, but yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's activated prematurely by a chunk update. Which is really cool, actually. So, if there's any way to make that go quicker, like, literally on or off, so let's just say, like, when that finishes. Right. It needs to be able to pull it back as well. But these should return to their position. But I don't know why that one's not. But yeah. It's just really weird and I like once again I thought I'd share it with you guys. And then if I want it No wait. It has to be touching under it, basically. Okay, that 
basically finishes this video and I loved how this one got a really good response this um elevator I did not know Etho had it before I am um, sorry about that but it didn't I didn't get that much hate I guess well I really didn't deserve hate to be fairly honest I didn't know so yeah even though I'm certain I just didn't see that video but I guess it still works and there's a tutorial on his channel but yeah that's basically it so, see you guys. Right, let's come on, shift 2, isn't it?